King's Castle sits majestically on Regency Court, just off the sixth line, north of the QEW. William Mackenzie King had his home erected in circa 1854 to express his refined and cultivated taste. It has stood the test of time as we can still enjoy its unique architecture. William, born in 1809, was one of two sons born to Barbara Chisholm King and George King. Both parents died young, leaving William and his brother James orphans. They were placed in the care of Uncle William, the founder of Oakville, at their mother's request. William left Oakville to travel the world. In a note he wrote to a cousin, he said, I am going very distant to spend the rest of my days. However, his wanderings ended in California, where he struck gold during the gold rush of 1848. Returning to Oakville, he established the Oakville Advertiser. Then, with the intention of settling down and establishing himself as a gentleman farmer, he purchased the 100 acres of a 200-acre lot at Regency Court from his uncle, Robert Chisholm, owner of Ercliss Estate, for the sum of $2,400. William set about to build his country villa in time for his upcoming marriage. The building was a distinctively styled brick Gothic revival house. This style of architecture was imported to Canada from Britain and the United States in the early 19th century. No doubt William had seen many such buildings during his travels. Commonly identifiable features of the Gothic revival style is the pointed arch. Used for windows, doors, and decorative elements such as porches, dormers, or roof gables. Other characteristic details include steeply pitched roofs and front-facing gables with delicate wooden trim called barge boards. Interestingly, a group of older brick buildings existed on the property which were comprised of a tack room and rudimentary tavern, connected by a long brick wall to provide shelter for the visitors' horses. This former stage post was well positioned for any journey because of its proximity to Lower Middle Road, now QEW, the old road from York to the head of the lake. William had these buildings assimilated into his new structure, attaching them to the kitchen tail. Of note, this style of architecture appeared in many churches in Toronto and was also used in the center block of the Parliament buildings in Ottawa. The name he chose for his residence was Solitude. However, the local folk persisted in calling it King's Castle. Misfortune seemed to follow William as his plans for marriage fell through. He did eventually marry his housekeeper. And in 1859, after only five years, he was required to sell the property and buildings back to Robert Chisholm. The house changed owners many times over the following years, during which time the property was reduced to little more than six acres. In 1902, when the building was up for sale once again, it was charmingly described as a three-story solid brick residence with 13 rooms, a bathroom, good plumbing, water in the house, and heated throughout by a warm furnace. Also mentioned in the description was a brick woodshed, a brick poultry house, no doubt the tack room and tavern, a substantial frame stable, and a carriage house, which had recently been built. Of interest, the local firefighters held numerous practice drills on the steeply pitched 38-foot high roof. The dry runs proved most beneficial when an almost disastrous fire in 1960 destroyed the early tack room and tavern. However, that was another fire brigade that saved the day. In place of the ruined buildings, a large one-story modern kitchen, games room, and seven-car garage were attached to the dining room, the former kitchen of William's day. The building continued to change owners over the following years, 
each making renovations, but the architectural form never lost its integrity. King's Castle was the first private dwelling in Oakville to be designated an historic building under the Ontario Heritage Act. Though many changes have taken place, the basic style of the structure still conforms to a description made by A.J. Downing, a prominent advocate of Gothic revival in the United States, of a picturesque villa with its high roofs, steep gables, unsymmetrical and capricious forms. King's Castle certainly conforms to this with its chimneys, pointed arch windows, narrow gables, and splendid barge boards, which have endured the years.